Come on, open your door. I want to eat your food. I told you three times now. I'm not going to give you any candy because the proper expression is trick or treat. It's Halloween, Grandpa. Just give me your candy so I can leave. You look like you're a teenager. Aren't you too old to be trick or treating? Aren't you too old to be alive? Yeah, that's what my son said. But what are you even supposed to be? I'm Jake Peralta from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. What's that? It's one of the single greatest shows of our time. Okay. When it was canceled back in May, it was saved literally only a day later by another network because a million people were tweeting their frustration about the cancellation, including Mark Hamill and Lynn manuel Miranda, and it was saved because it's not just the show. It's way more than that. How could you not know that? Or are you too busy worrying about how the host of Apprentice is our president, and as every day goes by, he destroys our country only a little bit more? You know, there are bigger things to worry about than a TV show. I mean, our country is broken. Yeah, true that. It's bad. It's really bad. <clears throat> but look, my heart was broken when Brooklyn Nine-Nine was taken from me. So can you just give me candy so I can leave? You reek of death, not in the fun Halloween way. You know what? GET OFF MY LAWN, HIPPIE! Wow, that guy was so rude, and that's the seventh house tonight that didn't give me any candy. This Halloween's turning out to be a disaster. Hey, uh, since you're not having the best Halloween, how would you feel about following me to a haunted house? You no, know, usually I'd call the cops if a complete stranger asked me to follow him, but it is Halloween night, and stealing candy from your neighbor's house is, is legal today, so I assume following complete strangers is too. So let's go. Okay. So how do you think of the haunted house? It's not that scary so far, random guy. My name's actually Dave. I don't care. Maybe your expectations were just a little too high. Dave, I didn't think this place was gonna be as scary as this guy I know named LaMonica or his weekend plans, but the scariest costume I've seen so far was a Roseanne bar, and that's not scary in a fun Halloween way, that's scary in a mentally ill type of way. Same thing with Kanye West. Yeah, but again, just keep in mind, this place is also meant for children. Teenagers don't really celebrate Halloween. You're like 40 and you are. Yeah, well, I'm going through a midlife crisis, so I have an excuse. Well, this place is awful and is a really bad way to spend Halloween. I mean, we're practically done going through the haunted house, so how about we just finish up with the little bit we have left and then we just don't come back next year. Fine. What's going on? They probably saw your face. Wow, that joke's so funny and didn't make me feel any worse about myself at all. <sighs> totally. No, somehow it's not your face! There's a ghost behind you! Really? It's Halloween night and there's a random ghost behind me. And it's not just some random kid dressed up as one. Blake, that's obviously not a costume! Run! Don't worry, I got this! Where did you get that? It's Halloween night. I'm obviously going to bring a baseball bat with me. <sighs> Moron. Blake, it's a ghost. It's obviously not going to feel the bat, idiot. <laughs> How did that not work? How did he not feel my baseball bat? Run! yippee ki yak other buckets! Wait. I'm a cop. No, you're not. You're dressed as a cop. You can't actually expect that to work. All right, listen, ghost. I'm Jake Peralta, NYPD. And if you possess one more person, then you're going to jail for a long time. And just let the record show that's actually a reference to season three, episode four, the Oolong Slayer. <gasps> no, please don't arrest me. I can't go back to jail again. How is this working? This can't actually be happening. All right, look. I'm ready to give you full immunity, but you have to leave this haunted house right now. I am so sorry. I had no idea you are a cop. I know you didn't, fool. Look, just next time you haunt a haunted house, just make sure that New York's finest isn't there. Okay, sir. I'll go to the haunted house across the street with all the millennials. Surely there won't be any cops there. Toits, I think that's a good idea. Just leave me and this haunted house alone, okay? Yes, thank you so much, officer. Ha! You've been ghosted, ghost. I know that joke didn't make any sense, but Ghosted was actually another Fox comedy starring the Pontiac Bandit that got cancelled on the same year as Brooklyn Nine-Nine did. Except they unfortunately didn't find another home like Brooklyn Nine-Nine thankfully did. I can't believe that actually worked. I mean, sure, he's probably going to possess all the millennials in the haunted house across the street, but we're not there, so it's fine. Nine-Nine!
Hey guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching this year's Halloween special. To see bloopers and behind the scenes, wait a few minutes. And to see the previous video we did, then watch the stages of being a YouTuber. And to see last year's Halloween skit, then watch Halloween candy. Alright guys, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's new video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next week for a brand new skit. I love you guys. Happy Halloween. Bye. <sighs> huh. I just got a ghost to leave me and the haunted house I'm in alone. Noise. Some more.